Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt, your brosif for today's video. It's Silencer Shop Authority time. For any of you that are just tuning into the channel, the Silencer Shop Authority program allows us content creators a very short period of time that we can demo NFA devices. Given the current wait time on approvals for some NFA, we try to pack a good amount of information as well as entertainment value into these videos. Our suppressor silencer for today's video is from Dead Air. Say hello to their mask in 22 caliber. We'll go over all the basic specifications of our dead air mask. It is 5.13 inches long, maybe longer depending on whose measuring stick you're using. Our OD is 1.07 inches. Our weight on this sample is 6.9 ounces. Our exit hole in the included end cap is 265 thousandths, plenty of clearance for 22 caliber. Our construction is 17.4 and titanium with a Cerakote finish. The serialized portion is our tube. We have half inch by 28 direct thread mount. The mask is user serviceable. It can be taken down. I'll probably have to cut that footage in later because I don't have any wrenches here at the range with me today. There are no barrel length restrictions. 22 long rifle, full auto rated, as well as 5.7 by 28 all the way up to 22 Hornet. And finally, we have a MSRP of $469 from our friends at Silencer Shop. For the shooting portion of our video, I have brought out a wide variety of 22 hosts from 22 Long Rifle, all the way up to my favorite caliber, 5.7 by 28 millimeter. Some of those firearms include the CMMG MK57, our FN PS90 SBR, our Diamondback DBX, our FN57, a Sig Sauer 1911-22, Smith & Wesson 15-22, the kel PMR-30, and CMR-30. Now that I've talked your head off a little bit, let's shut up and shoot. All right, we have some subs loaded up. We're going to listen for that first round pop. We've got our 1911-22 here. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. That You should be able to hear the suppressor pretty good. That sounded pretty good. I didn't detect any first round pop with my ears. Let me know in the comments below if you could tell a difference between those first two shots. Okay, we swapped out for our Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. This should give us a good representation of supersonic versus subsonic suppressed. So this would be super. Sorry, that was sub super. So essentially what you're hearing is one round is below the sound barrier, so you're not hearing that supersonic crack, and then the regular power Aguila is above the sound barrier, so you're hearing that crack. <laughs> Running some American Eagle TMJ in our 5.7 with the dead air mask. This is the slowest factory loading should give us good suppression, but it's still going to be pretty loud with that supersonic crack. Quite a bit of back pressure to the... Or good cycling there. A little bit of uh, gas to the face there coming through the back where the hammer cutout is, but not too bad. The goggles, they do nothing. I'm crying. Ah. 
needs a brass deflector. As far as our disassembly of our dead air mask goes, you may need a few of the tools you see here, including a 26 millimeter box and wrench, a wooden dowel, and a hammer, as well as the front end cap takedown tool. So obviously you want to take the front end cap off. If you put a lot of rounds through this, it may not want to come off. And then, depending on how tight this rear is, this may or not may or may not want to come off. I already kind of pre-loosened it. That's why it has wrench flats on the body as well. So now the most important question is whether the baffle stack will come out or not. And it actually did. So now you have our tube, our baffle stack, our rear threaded end cap, and the front cap. And then each one of these baffles should come apart. We've got a notch in them for reassembly. I don't know how many rounds this has through it. Like I said, it's on loan from Silencer Shop. So altogether, there are eight baffles. The front most baffle is the most unique one, so you can easily tell that one apart. And like I said, this is the rearmost blast baffle. So you just line those little notches up to put it back together. There is no specific order that the middle section, middle section baffles have to go in. Ta-da! Stick this guy in here. Put him back in your tube. Obviously you want to clean this. That's the whole reason for taking it apart. And now through the magic of video editing, your suppressor has been cleaned, wink wink, and fully reassembled and is ready for action. Now that we've had some trigger time on our dead air mask, it's time to talk about any observations that I've made while shooting it. This can's only seven ounces, but it feels a lot heavier than it really is, but it balances really well on all the hosts that we shot it on. We didn't really have any issues with the gun feeling too front end heavy. As far as like a point of impact shift at 25 yards, we used our Smith & Wesson 1522 and shot a couple groups, can, no can. And there was about a one inch shift, which isn't too bad. I've seen quite a bit of shift in some other cans that we've tested before, but a lot of the time it depends on your host. This can has really robust construction with the 17.4 and the titanium. As far as a first round pop goes, I couldn't detect any when I've been out here shooting. You have to leave me a comment below if you there. could hear it in the audio. But when using the subsonics in our 22 and our 5.7, I couldn't detect any. I do appreciate that Dead Air included wrench flats on the body and end cap of our mask, but feel they probably should include a set of wrenches in the box with purchase as once you get into the inch and larger diameter, not a lot of people have wrenches that big and using crescent wrenches on these things just never works out. That's why I call them Slippy McSlippertons. Well, the time has come for me to be like a shepherd and get the flock out of here. Once again, I'd like to thank the Silencer Shop Authority program for allowing us to get our dirty paws on NFA items for review. If you felt that I've got something wrong or would like to correct my poor grammar or pronunciation skills, engaging yourself below in the comments helps us to help you. I've got push-ups to do, so until next time, I'll catch you at the range. And remember, folks, we love you. The day isn't complete without a mag dump of 22 long rifle. Jam! Nice!